Hi, my name is Bob Berkovich, DuPont Pioneer Field Agronomist in Eastern Wisconsin. Today we're out evaluating some corn that endured some freezing temperatures about 30 hours ago. We had two to three hours of temps in that 29 to 30 degree range, so not what I would consider a severe frost event, but certainly we do have some damage out here that we're going to take a closer look at. Here's a close-up look at some frosted corn plants where we see some discoloration, we see some brownish color either on the margins of the leaves or across the entire portion of the plants. We see the leaves have lost some turgidity and are a little bit softer, um, but overall this corn does look pretty decent. As we take a closer look at a seedling that's been dug up here, we see that the below ground portions of that plant are firm, white, and healthy looking. That's important because the growing point is down below the soil surface at the V1 growth stage like we see here. Because that growing point is protected uh, from the insulating effect of the soil, this corn and a lot of corn that did receive this frost about 30 hours ago should recover extremely well. Uh, if we get into a situation where we had some lighter soils that have been planted, those lighter soils insulate against the cold less than our medium to heavier soils do. So those would be fields that I would keep a closer eye on just because of that, that cold temperature can get down to that growing point easier on those sandier soils. On medium to heavier soils, hopefully a lot of this corn will, will come right out of it, and I really do think that it will. If you're looking for more information, check out pioneer.com slash agronomy. Otherwise, we've got a really nice agronomy app called Growing Point Agronomy. Feel free to follow us at Pioneer Wisconsin on Twitter, or as always, contact your local Pioneer sales professional.